Hey everybody! So, on this channel, I used to be known as MovieFanZ. Very recently, I actually changed it back to my original channel name, which was, which was, and now is, Nightmare5026. So, it's still going to be the same content. I might even add some more content to here, but... Just letting you know in case you might be confused. So, my first movie that I'm going to give my review for in a new segment called Nightmare Reviews is going to be Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, the newest film by Quentin Tarantino. I actually just got back from seeing it. So... The movie basically is, tells the main story of Rick Dalton, play, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, and his relationship with his stunt double, Cliff, who is played by Brad Pitt. But also in the movie you have uh, Sharon Tate, who is, play, who is an actress in her own right. And she is played by Margot Robbie. So, going into this movie, I was excited for it. Um, because it was Leo and Brad Pitt. And from the trailer, it looked really good. Hearing, hearing some reviews, I it didn't get as good of reviews as I thought. But, I decided to go see it nonetheless. And I will have to say, after seeing it, I am very disappointed in this movie. It is not the movie that I... The movie that I wanted is not what I got. Period. But, as always, let's start with the positives. The two main actors, Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt, are the best in the, mo are the, best in the movie. What everybody really praised from reviews that I had heard is the chemistry between DiCaprio and Pitt. And I thought, yes, that was one of the best things in the movie. Another positive that I saw were the camera shots. There was a lot of times where you were in the you were in the back of a car and you saw like from the back seat and you saw just different interesting camera angles so i thought okay that's a little interesting and one final positive and this is a small positive is another one of my favorite actors kurt russell actually makes an appearance won't tell you who he plays but he does make an appearance in this movie Now, negatives, though. My biggest negative is the story. It seemed like there were a couple different storylines going on, and it just, like, it didn't really focus on either Dalton and, or Sharon Tate. Kind of did both, but it just seemed like there was nothing in the story that really wowed me. So it just, it, I felt like that was very weak in the movie. My other, another negative, I have to say, is the music. I felt like there was too much music in this movie and it seemed like there was never really a time where there wasn't any. third negative was the length. This is a two hour and 40 minute movie. And yet it seemed to drag on at points. And there was even a narration part in this movie that I felt like was not necessary. But this movie definitely could have been shortened maybe half hour at that. And I would have, it would have still probably been the same movie. And my final negative is 
the action. There is one good fight scene in this movie, and it takes place in the last 15 minutes of the movie. So it's just like, it was a lot of dragging on before that point even happened. So, overall, I'm going to give this a 2. A 2.5 out of 5. Definitely not the worst movie I've seen this year, but so disappointing. I went into this movie also thinking, okay, so maybe Brad Pitt might get an Oscar nomination for Supporting Actor, Leonardo DiCaprio for Best Actor, and maybe Best Picture. The only one now I think might happen, even though I don't think it's a lock, or I don't think he's even in my top five now, is Leonardo DiCaprio. But if he gets in, I'm happy with it, but I don't think he'll get in now. Well, that is my review for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. This is Nightmare 5026. Come back next time for another Nightmare review. Have a good day.